Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever good time it is morning, while you're watching this. Evening, and it's time, time now it to take the cool cover off the Himalayan because it's getting a bit too cool as we head into autumn. And have a reflection on the summer where I got to meet Brad Binder, one of my heroes, for his 2021 ride in the rain on slicks. And go for a lovely little ride with a mate of mine into the Cotswolds doing a quick loop, a bit of nice food and a lovely ride. All was well with the world until I realised what I would be facing on Monday. That's right, our work computers have all been upgraded to Windows 11. So, what I'm doing is handing in my notice and starting up a car servicing and repair dealership near Microsoft's office. Any office will do, preferably one in the UK. Why am I doing this? Well, the first customer I get to come in and have their car serviced by me is going to wander out to the car park to pick their car up, nicely serviced, and then they're going to come back into me and they're going to ask where the handbrake's gone. Well, I'll explain. It's a rarely used feature, so we've put it into the boot. Oh, while you're here, you'll notice that the pedals have been rearranged because we've updated the features. The clutch is now in the middle, the accelerator is on the left, and the brake is on the right. So uh, I trust you'll get used to that. The steering wheel, we've moved it an inch and a half to the left to make it quite uncomfortable for you actually to steer the car. You'll notice a few other things as well. The electric windows for one. Well, the front left control now controls the back right window. The back left window is now on the back right side just because we felt like doing some updates and I'm sure you'll get used to this in time. The radio controls have now been moved behind the passenger seat. The windscreen wiper lights and indicator controls have all been swapped around because we felt like updating those features oh and we've painted it a different color as well to upgrade it for you finally in another oh three years we're not going to service your car anymore not because we can't because we don't want to the customer at this point will understand get very angry and ask why i've done this the simple answer is because that's what you well do every time you change your shitty software to make it less usable. A lot of these features aren't needed and aren't wanted. The snipping tool used to be two seconds to use, now you have to ask about for ages trying to work out where it's been hidden, how you can actually take a snip instead of a screenshot and why do you have to go back into it to save a snip. I thought I'd survived my motorbike accident a few years ago. Instead, I appear to be in some sort of purgatory alpha testing software. Windows 11, let's face it, you change your file name on the desktop, instead of leaving it where it was, like every other version of Windows, it will move it over to as far top and left as it can possibly go. Why? Don't know. There's a lot of stuff in Windows 11 that doesn't seem to work as well as it used to, and I'm glad that my own computers are still running 8.1. Windows 10 was meant to be the last ever Windows coming out, and uh, soon that, the support for that will be discontinued as well, I expect. And uh, we can all wait for Windows 12, another exercise in turd polishing. Don't polish the turd, replace it with something usable. So, to all those out there who uh, feel like getting their car serviced, if you work for Microsoft, please, I've got some very special rates for you. Anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you're less stressed than I am. Tatty bye.